Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you our very first Terminator Genesis Mega Box review. Uh, this is set T1000, uh, which is named after the character you see right there. It is set number CNH37. It includes 33 pieces and retailed for around six to seven pounds. So this set features a terrain piece, some barrel accessory piece there that you can see on the right, and of course the T-1000 from the Terminator films. Now in the films, the T-1000 is a liquid metal type robot which can alter its appearance. As you can see here, it's like mid-transformation, which is when you see the silver liquid metal effect. I'm somewhat confused by where this figure is based in terms of the films itself. It has the jacket and head of the T-800 from the Time Machine set, but has the extended coat piece, which is more reminiscent of the Terminator at the start of Genesis, that tries to kill a young Kyle Reese in the film. But that one in the film is just a normal human colored robot. I'm not too sure where this T-1000 is from, or if it's just a mega base design. Either way, it's a fantastic figure with a nice metallic chrome effect on it. Really, really like it. You get a great little assault rifle accessory that we'll take a look at in a second, and a great little piece overall. So let's take a closer look at the figure itself. So this T-1000 uses pretty much Assassin's Creed based parts. It has the skirt section that you see on some of the Assassin's Creed figures. Even the jacket has been used on some of the pirate figures. Uh, the arms I'm pretty sure are the same as well. The only new sections here are the head. Uh, which is a fantastic little head. I'd love to see that painted at some point um, in flesh tone. The hair is fantastic. The detail in their facial expression. Absolutely great little head. But the main key point of this set for me is this nice M4 assault rifle. I'll just remove for you here. Yeah, this great little assault rifle looks fantastic. It's one sculpted piece. Has a nice silver paint on the magazine, the stock, and at the front of the rifle there. And it's just a great little piece. I hope that we see this in future Terminator sets or in future Call of Duty sets because it fits the Call of Duty figures perfectly. I've bought a few of this pack now just for this weapon to give to Call of Duty figures. It looks so good in their hands. It looks so good in the Terminator hands as well. But it's a really great piece and I hope Megablox uses this a lot more. I, I like it way more than the customizable weapons from the Call of Duty sets we currently get. So, taking a closer look at the terrain piece here, we get a nice little sculpted rock, which we've seen on the Halo sets. I think it predates those, so it's a great little piece that's carried over. It's great for uh, displays or any big builds that you've got planned, so nice little cheap set here that you can mass buy if you need little rocks for your terrain builds. You also get this little station here with the shovel and the pickaxe. They can be put in figures' hands if you'd like. And you also get this little chain link fence here with the uh, nice caution printed detail that's not a sticker so i'm glad that megabox have solely moved away from stickers now and uh, it's also built on a standard small size terrain plate um, that's what we find is typical of these weapon pack style releases this is pretty much just like the old halo weapon packs that we've had but just terminator so it's quite expected that we get a terrain stand like that we also get this little piece of barrel section here. Uh, these, this is made up of four small barrels that you can take apart and separate if you wanted to. It's on a little forklift pallet type thing that you can lift up. Um, it's a great little piece. I've bought a few of this set, as I've said, so I've combined them into bigger pallets with more barrels on, um, which is easy enough to do. So there's a lot of potential in this set in terms of what you get with it. So overall, this is a fantastic little set. As I've just mentioned, it has a great amount of potential. Um, not only is it a great set on its own standing, you get a great figure, great accessory, great terrain piece, but these can be multi-bought pretty cheaply now, and they can be all linked together. I've got several now that link the fence together, so we've got a massive fence section. I've got multiple barrel pallets, multiple assault rifles and terminators. It's a fantastic set that you can army build, and the parts can be used elsewhere on Halo, Call of Duty, or bigger Terminator builds if you've got any. It's a really fantastic piece, highly recommended, and for the price you can't really go wrong. So that's it for this review. We will be reviewing more Call of Duty, Terminator, and Halo sets in the coming weeks, so stay tuned to the channel, and don't forget to like, favourite, and subscribe, and tell me what you think about this set. Bye!